Hey everyone, this is Zach Hample at Yankee Stadium and welcome to the American League Championship Series. I was here for the wild card game against the Twins. I was here for both ALDS games against the Indians. I did three selfie videos at those games. And in the last video, I promised that if the Yankees advanced, I'd be back. So here I am and I brought my videographer. So he's gonna get some really cool shots, make this whole thing look even better. Now, today is gonna be completely crazy. Batting practice is gonna be a zoo. I don't expect to have much room to run around, but the Astros are in town. They can really hit. So I am expecting to be pretty close to some action. This is actually game three of the series. The Yankees lost the first two in Houston. So it's kind of do or die. They definitely don't want to fall behind three games to nothing. So let's see what they got. I'm hyped. Let's get inside. Starlin Castro right there. an incredible first group of batting practice right there by the Yankees. Every single batter was right-handed. So I decided to head up here to the left field bleachers, figured there'd be some action, and sure enough there was. I got five baseballs, and they were hit by Matt Holliday, Starlin Castro, Todd Frazier, Matt Holliday again, and Todd Frazier again. Aaron Judge was in that group, so was Gary Sanchez. Those are probably the two strongest guys, but oddly enough, I didn't get anything that they hit. I gave four of the five baseballs away, and I want to show you the one that I've kept. You can see that it's just a standard MLB baseball. They don't use commemorative postseason balls during batting practice, usually. Occasionally you'll get lucky, get one before the game, but generally speaking, if you want a commemorative ball, like I showed in my ALDS Game 4 video, you have to get one during the game. So for right now, the Yankees are still hitting. I think Jacoby Ellsbury's in this group, so I want to head over to right field. Come on, let's do it. How you doing, Mr. 8,000? Mr. 10,000, come on. 10,000? Two years, 2,000! Two catches right there to close out Yankees batting practice, and they were both hit by Jacoby Ellsbury, so my decision to come over here for him definitely paid off. That makes it seven baseballs total today, and the Astros are up. They're actually on their second group right now. Had some close calls in the first round. I think it was Josh Reddick launching bombs up into the bleachers. Brian McCann was in that group. A couple of righties as well. So for now, I'm just figuring out who's in this group. Not sure if I want to stay here or move to a third spot for BP. But either way, it's going to be fun. This is uh, one of the best batting practices I've actually seen here in quite some time. Well, today's batting practice was really, really fun. I got seven baseballs total, all of them were home runs, and I caught five on the fly. I would have gotten more if the Astros had come through for me, but luck just wasn't quite on my side. Out in right field, there were balls being hit all over the place, but I just couldn't make any plays. And then in left field, despite the fact that there were a bunch of righties, they just really weren't hitting anything out in my direction. But no complaint, seven is great for the postseason. That's actually more baseballs than I've snagged combined in the first three postseason games here this season. Now, I just want to mention two quick things. First
first of all, it's cold here today. What's going on? My last video, which was shot just a week ago, I was wearing a t-shirt. And now look at this. Winter is coming. It's going to be down in the 40s during tonight's game. So I'm really bundled up. And also, it just occurred to me that this is my 120th Major League game of the season. So that's kind of neat. For right now, there's still about, I don't know, I'm looking at the clock, 45 minutes to an hour before first pitch. So I do want to get up to the upper deck to get that perspective on the player introductions. Haven't seen it yet from that angle this year. And just kind of wander around until then, and I'll be in the outfield during the game, hoping for some more home run magic. right here, but if you can hear me and see me, that whole pregame ceremony was really cool. We're almost set for game time. I'm gonna head out to right field now. My videographer has a ticket in a neighboring section, so I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to hang out during the game or for the whole game. He's gonna wander with me. We're just gonna see what happens. He might wander and get some shots. I might bring you some of the action selfie style. However you slice and dice it, it's gonna be awesome. Two outs here in the top of the first inning. CC looks like he's on his game early. Everybody's standing. I'll have some updates for you throughout the night. Right now they're booing Jose Altuve. Yankee fans, of course, think Judd should be the MVP. And I feel like Altuve is the one main challenger, so they're giving it to him. Man, this is fun here for sure. hit a three-run homer here in the bottom of the second inning. When that ball left the bat, it was right at me, but it tailed about 10 feet in that direction. And the dude right there with the black ski cap on, hands in his pockets, he got the ball. It landed in the second row, bounced down to the front row, right near that little bag of peanuts, and he picked it up. I just can't even move. There's a chain there, there's a railing here, there's a sound guy for one of the TV networks. But man, every inning brings something crazy. Didi Gregorius was picked off to end the first. We have an instant replay review right now. The fans out here are giving it to Josh Reddick, the Astros right fielder. They're chanting, Cheryl Reddick. I guess that's his mom. So my God, what's gonna happen in the third inning, right? <laughs> we had no chance, we had no chance.
CC Sabathia with a masterful performance tonight. Six scoreless innings. The Astros, that's right, the Astros only managed three hits off him. <laughs> Adam Warren is in the game right now. I think everybody in this section is drunk, especially that guy. Yeah, maybe. And so the Yankees, they're just in cruise control right now. They have to get nine more outs. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You know what that sound means? George Springer just went down swinging. They now need eight more outs. It's over here at Yankee Stadium, and the Astros made it interesting in the ninth inning. Well, Dellen Batances made it interesting. He walked the first two guys, then Tommy Canely came in, he ended up walking in a run, and Aroldis Chapman had to get up in case things got more out of hand. But the Yankees shut it down, final score, eight to one. And one thing that was interesting was how empty it was here in the eighth and ninth inning. It's rare for a postseason game to clear out, but it just goes to show that if the score is lopsided, even in favor of the home team, people are gonna take off. It's a weeknight, people have work, people have school, so I had all kinds of space in case a home run flew this way. But it didn't. But I was really close to that Todd Frazier home run in the second inning. That was very exciting. Now, I got seven baseballs total today. I gave away five of them, and I'm gonna send one to pitch in for baseball. So I'm only keeping one, but all seven count. So the lifetime total is now 10,149. And you know what? The gates today open two and a half hours early, which is half an hour earlier than they opened for the wild card and the ALDS. So that really made all the difference. I got to see two full groups of Yankees BP, whereas the other three games, I barely saw the Yankees at all, and then it rained one game, there was no BP. So lots of fun running around, catching baseballs. I really had a great time today. And because the Yankees won game three, they're now down two games to one, but that forces a game five. So I'll be back here for the next two days. I'll have two more videos for you guys. Thanks for watching.